Hey guys, uh, just a short video this time. Um, haven't got a whole lot of work done on it in the past week. Uh, kind of behind the scenes, I got a lot of different projects I'm working on. Um, one of them sitting back here in the corner. I mean, there, there's there's partially built projects all over the place. There's an old uh, Lanier 35% Sukhoi back there. Um, but I've been working on that old Killer Chaos. It's just about ready for covering, and I got the covering on order. So I've been doing a little bit of work on that. Um, but so I don't fall too far behind on videos for this, I decided to get some progress done on this. Um, since the last video, I have finished the ailerons, and they are hinged, and they work very well. I had somebody leave a comment, and I didn't quite understand it. Um... They were saying, how is how are the ailerons going to work? Because they're flat. Uh, I really didn't get it. Um, so I, I don't understand your, your question or concern. Because, as you can see, they uh, they are on there. And they work just, just as smooth as can be. I mean, can't get any better than that. So I did that throughout the week. Got those all set up. Uh, got a little bit of glue on this one. Um, what I just finished doing is I put the wingtips on. And I know I can't say enough how much I don't like building. Pay no attention to this. This this is not finished yet. This has to be final sanded and filled in to blend the aileron into the wingtip. So don't look at that. In fact, we'll keep it out of the picture. Um, I enjoy doing wingtips. I, for some... <laughs> They're both the same. I'm consistent. Look at that. Very consistent. Yeah, this all has to be filled in and, and made perfectly. Um, I do enjoy wingtips. I don't know why. Um, I think it's just because it's, uh, I don't know, getting them shaped just right, it's it's kind of fun. Um, see, those wings turned out pretty darn straight, didn't they? Looks good. So the way I do the wing tips is they start out as a block, um, and I did not use uh, the plans for this um, because the plans were not detailed to the point for clipping the wing and making it into a super chipmunk. So I just made my own template out of a piece of uh, Dollar Tree foam board. Then once I made the template, I traced it onto uh, one of the supplied blocks. Here's the blocks. You can see I was able to get two wingtips out of one block. So once it was all cut out, I had this uh, view of the wingtip, but it was, you know, that thick. Then once I placed it on there, I went ahead and traced all the way around it, um, going from the end of the wing, and then cut it on the saw, which left me with a bunch of these pieces here. You, know, you can see where... These were all cut like that. Um, I never recommend just taking a block, sticking it on the wingtip, and then just starting to go to town. I mean, you can do that, but there's going to be so much dust, so much sanding. I try to get it as close as I possibly can, um, cutting it on the saw before I actually attach it to the wing. Then once it's on the wing, now it's you know it's roughly it's roughly this shape here. And it's roughly this shape here. So before I start sanding, I use the very underutilized to most builders, the Master Air Screw Razor Plane. And as you can see from my pile down there, there is more uh, wood shavings than sawdust. That's because I really try to rough them in as good as I can using the planer. It makes quick and easy work of the whole thing, and it kind of keeps the mess down. Just gives you a pile of fluffy balsa. Then once I get that done, then I go to Brutus. This is a homemade sanding block. Really, really, uh, really custom, really professionally built, as you can see. You know, it consists of a 2x4 and a piece of 30 or 40 grit uh, belt sander. And this will last for freaking ever. And that really chews it up good. Gets it into more of the rough shape. But you got to be careful not to get too close into your sheeting because that 30 or 40 grit will just chew a hole right through that sheeting in a heartbeat. 
So I get as close as I can with that. Then I go in with uh, 60 grit, or this is 60 or 80, I can't remember. Kind of finish smoothing it out, get it to the exact shape that I want, and then go over it with some 220, and it's done. Just as easy as that. Um, so yeah, that's about all I've really accomplished on it. Oh, I did uh, hinge the control surfaces using the... Uh, these guys here using the Dubro uh, pin hinges, which I'm not going to use again. I've decided I, I really like my Robarts. Um, I'm not going back to those. There's a reason, and I'll get into it just a little bit. When I hinge the elevator and rudder, um, since I've never really used those, uh, those Dubro hinges, I've used them a little bit in the past, but not very much. Normally, I just take an X-Acto knife and just cut into the, you know, the control surface or whatever to get the slot for this. But I decided to actually buy the proper tools, and I bought two different brands of hinge cutters, and neither one worked worth a damn. One of them just literally started obliterating the wood, and now the insides of my uh, elevator and or my vertical and horizontal stabilizer are full of chewed up wood so now when you shake it you can hear it clanking around in there and that really pisses me off and the other one i bought they all they all bent so what the hell so i went back to what i've been using for so many years and the trusty uh uh robart pin hinge can't go wrong i mean look at that that's that's beautiful and look how just super silky smooth they work you know you can't go wrong. Uh, you notice in the background, since so many people hate the TV, but some people like it, I decided to make it worthwhile. So, not only do I want your guys' support on my channel, but I want you guys to support other channels as well. So now, every time I'm working in the shop, I'm going to have a different channel that I enjoy watching playing in the background, and I'll go over it a little bit. So this is Joe's RC Corner. I've been watching Joe's channel for quite some time. Um, there, instead of putting a link in the description, there he is right there, Joe's RC Corner. He has some great content. Um, I swear we were probably separated at birth because we like old, old classic kits. We both love Super Chipmunks. Fantastic. He does great videos, has some really good content. So check him out. So what's left on the wings? Um, obviously, I got some filling to do. Uh, the same with the uh, where they meet at the at the root at the root right there. There's a bigger gap than than needed. I need to do some touching up on the uh, the wing uh, roots there. You can see how the, where the aileron meets the trailing edge of the wing, uh, it needs to be built out a little bit, and that's no big deal. That'll be really easy to do. Then I need to figure out what I'm going to do as far as uh, location of the aileron servos. I need to build some framework in there, get those put in. And the wings will pretty much be done, except for the fact that I'm going to have to be blending them into the wing a little bit better when I do the center section uh, wing fillet. So yeah, there we have it. Um, just kind of a quick and easy uh, update. Um I'm still shooting for my target goal of starting covering uh, uh, February. I have a feeling it'll happen a lot sooner than that. Because as soon as I do get the uh, some certain parts of the airplane completely finished, I'm going to start covering those parts. Like once these ailerons are all, you know, all fitted perfectly and everything's good to go, I still have to, uh, and I have to figure out how exactly I'm going to do it. Hold on, stand by. Um, I'm going to do a permanent, uh, uh, control horn coming out of here by making a slot in the wood and then having a, probably a plywood, uh, reinforced by fiberglass control horn coming out. So once the ailerons are done and on that good stuff, I'm going to cover those. I mean, I can't stand it. I want to get some covering on this thing. I need to change it up. You know, I get tired of building. So, hopefully uh, next weekend I'll have some more work done on it. I kind of doubt it. 
it's uh, getting to the point where just there's there's so much little stuff that needs to be done now. Maybe throughout the week I might get the control rods put in the fuselage and get those all finished up. If I do, I'll uh, bring you back next Sunday and we'll go over what happened. All right, later.